Hi everyone, this is meant to be a quick follow-up video to my Shelly Motion review that I released yesterday because there were a few things that I didn't quite understand how it works and uh, I just wanted to get it straight. So it's about the settings. So if you see my Shelly uh, Motion, it says that the blind time is set to one minute and the pulse count is set to one and of course the detection is set to any and uh, it is set up so that when motion is detected it's going to light up the the small lamp which is here and then you can see the shelly up there on the upper right or sorry the upper left and on the web page that the shelly generates you can see that on it says motion and then it's counting down and uh, you can see that when i was waving it basically right now so it resets the counter so it's set to one minute blind time but if in that one minute uh, it detects additional motion that it restarts a one minute counter. So now I just left the room and uh, now we are going to see how it actually counts down that one minute. And of course that in that one minute now the, the bulb is going to be lit uh, continuously. And um, I had to do this video because um, when I received this product for review I didn't get any additional information with it. I mean I just uh, got the leaflet that you are also getting in the box and when I watched the actual launch event yesterday, this is when I realized that it, it works differently how I uh, expected it or, or how I understood that it works. And the fact that I thought that the blind time is more like a sleep time for the device, but actually even in the blind time, the device is currently or constantly on and it's monitoring stuff. And for example, within this one minute the website is constantly talking to the device every five seconds and getting updates uh, so the the device is definitely not in sleep now you can see that the one minute has elapsed the light bulb has gone off and i come back to the room and now the one minute timer starts again and and just like before if it detects any further motion the one minute timer just gets reset So within that blind time, the device doesn't actually sleep. It's on all the time and it's sort of connected to the Wi-Fi all the time or maybe when I'm running this website. So I increased the uh, pulse count to three now. And what that's supposed to mean that it would only react to the third motion detection. And uh, so now you can see that the timer is 40 seconds. And if I wave my hand first time, nothing happens. Maybe second time, nothing happens. Maybe that was already the third time because you can see the red LED and then the motion counter reset. I personally find this pulse count a little bit, uh, I mean, I don't know, I, I would say hit and miss, but maybe it's not a hit and miss, but I can't really tell when you know, it was actually detecting motion and when it was counting down. But definitely if you are getting, you know, too many false uh, motion detections and you want, just want to reduce that, you can just increase this pulse count and then maybe it will just, you know, ignore smaller motions. Um, and I can't really tell whether the, you know, any additional motion within the blind time is, is getting counted as well or only after that has elapsed. I left the room again so now it's counting back down to zero and then when I come back I definitely notice that it's getting turned on a little bit later than usual so it definitely has an impact on uh, you know not reacting to the first motion detection okay so I skip forward the uh, motion time is going to elapse in any second now and when I come back you will see that it will not switch on the light immediately there is going to be a very well it's going to be some delay I think there was a little bit more delay than before so I hope that that's going to make it clear how the blind time works I wanted to get this video out maybe I could have experimented even more but I think this was what most people were interested in is like how the blind time impacts how motion is detected and what happens if additional motion is detected in that blind time so thanks for watching and hopefully see you in the next video.